Jim Macaluso from Technique Peak, and today I'd like to demonstrate uh, joint mobilization of the lower thoracic spine to help facilitate the lower trapezius muscle. Um, there were a number of studies done in the early 2000s, one in 2001 at New York Tech, which touched on this subject and showed a significant increase in strength, uh, and then later picked up by Josh Cleland in New Hampshire, who did further studies um, that indicate mobilization, manipulation of the T-spine are beneficial in this area and treatment of the cervical spine. What I would like to do first is have Donis do a prone lower trap stage one exercise and take a look at the quality uh, and difficulty that he has doing this exercise. Donis, can you please draw both shoulder blades together, bring your hands up parallel to the floor and reach down towards your heels and do a bit of a chin tuck out of that hole for me. Okay, and you can see he's struggling with it a little bit, um, and then release. Okay, bring it up again. Let's do another repetition. Come on up, draw your head up. I like to have the patients hold this for about three seconds, uh, and you can see he's quivering a bit and having difficulty with this exercise. Okay, so what I then do is use whatever technique you're comfortable with to assess and mobilize the T-spine. Some people like to do PA centrals. Okay, some people like to do PA bilateral, whatever is comfortable for you. So I like to take my contact and work unilaterally. I'll do a counterclockwise rotation with this and work my way up the T-spine. And he has a number of tight segments here right around T4, 5, 6, and 7, okay, which is very typical of somebody who has an inhibited lower trap. Okay, I can also assess with a clockwise rotation. Okay. So what I like to do is a grade four mobilization with the breathing, and if I feel an area that's specifically fibrotic, we can manipulate it at that point. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Oh, and there he goes, he released without even trying. Okay, now I'm gonna do it with a clockwise rotation. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe out. Okay, and there's another one released. Okay, so we did get a manipulation just by applying the grade four mobilization force. Okay, now what I would have him do is retest and perform the same exercise again. Okay, Donis, hands up parallel to the floor, do your chin tuck. One, two, three, and down. And give me three reps. Concentrate on getting the shoulder blades together. Okay, the way they will con compensate is to begin to extend the lumbar spine, and we don't want that. So keep it, bring your head up. Perfect. Okay, and usually I would have them do two sets of 10 or 15 repetitions, depending on their level of rehab. Um, and this is uh, very helpful in treating your T-spine, shoulder, and cervical spine uh, patients in the clinic. And if they can improve the strength and endurance in this area, they're typically more successful in maintaining whatever successful rehab you have with, with them. So once again, this is Jim Macaluso from Technique Peak.